Hello again, YouTube, and I'm back with a uh, a video, and uh, it's it's a video response to some questions, comments, or concerns that uh, some people have expressed in their comments. And uh, as opposed to answer, answering each one individually, I'll try to answer it in a video and, and hopefully give some folks some uh, better understanding and uh, and encourage some people too that may be questioning whether or not they can do this as well. So, um, the first question dealt with whether or not my panels were in series or parallel. Um, my panels, as you can see on my diagram here, I have four panels in two arrays. And they are both, the panels are connected together in series, not parallel, in series. Uh, because I needed the high, higher voltages for my MPPT charge controllers. Uh, so, uh, they're in series. If you have MPPT charge controllers, um, it generally it's best to uh, put them in series so that they can get the higher voltages and your MPPTs uh, can take advantage of it. Uh, but again, it depends on your particular implementation, where you are and, and what you want to do. Uh, the, next question, the next question is, uh, as far as with the grid tie inverters, I have two. One is uh, being fed through this grid tie inverter controller that I picked up from Enrods at techluck.com. And the question was, well, why don't you just connect those to directly to your panels, uh, just like the one up, at, up, up top, which is connected to the panels? Well, the reason I don't connect this one to the panels because uh, this system, as you can see right here, this, this system was designed originally for backup purposes, and it's, pri it's still, its primary purpose is for backup, for it to be a backup system and not just to, you know, feed power to the house. And so the star of this entire setup here is the batteries. These are critical. The batteries in a backup system, you've got to have good batteries and a lot of capacity, storage capacity. And so this particular um, unit, uh, this grid tie inverter, will supply power to my home uh, once the batteries have been satisfied. Once the batteries are full and are satisfied, uh, then, you know, only then send the extra power to the house uh, through this particular grid tie uh, inverter controller. Um, now, uh, this up top, now, yes, uh, because looking at my uh, diagram here, I don't need four panels to, tr to keep my batteries topped off. Okay, I don't need four. So I can use this set of panels to keep the battery charged and once they're charged in the excess power to the house. And this set of panels will always be uh, connected to the grid tie inverter uh, through this switch uh, and send power to the house. Now I can always switch this back over here to uh, send that power to the batteries to charge them up faster uh, for in, in, in a whatever situation I need to. But for right now, I can, you know, I don't really need four. I can use two, uh, two sets of panels, and, uh, and it seems to work out fine. Uh, the second uh, comment was that this particular inverter cost over $2,000. Well, yes, this is an inverter charger, a pure sign inverter charger, okay, that, will, that, will, uh, that can output 120 volts AC and 240 volts AC. Uh, so it's an inverter charger and it's 4,000 watts and it's heavy duty, okay? And it, had, it also comes with an automatic transfer switch. So when the power goes out, it senses that the power is, has gone out uh, through this connection. And once it's, it senses that, that uh, the utility power is, is not available, then it will switch to inverter mode and, and my house will switch over. Uh, and it will be seamless. I mean, it's like you barely know that you switched over. It's that quick. So uh, with that in mind, is it worth $2,000? Absolutely. You get what you paid for. This is a, it's a quality unit. That's why it costs over $2,000. You may be able to find some cheaper and so forth, but uh, again, you get, you get what you paid for. Uh, the next uh, concern uh, was... Uh, safety, uh, about safety, you know, did you contact your insurance company or something like that? And the answer is no, I didn't see the need uh, to contact my insurance company. And I, you know, because, you know, whether or not they, well, the comment was, well, if you didn't use a licensed electrician to do this, then they may not 
you know, if there was a fire, they won't, uh, you know, pay your claim or something like that. Or the idea was they wouldn't pay your claim. I disagree with that. I disagree with that. You don't need a license uh, to, for instance, install another outlet. You don't need a license to install a fixture like, you know, this particular exhaust fan. Uh, you don't need a license to put a timer, uh, like a uh, 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 water heater timer that I have here. You don't need a license for that. However, you need the skill for that. If you do not have the skill, then please contact an, a, a licensed electrician to get the job done. Um, you know, if you don't have the skill, if you don't have the confidence to do it, then by all means, contact a professional. However, myself, I, you know, at first I did not have the skill, so I did hire a licensed electrician to come in and do some work for me. I sat, I watched him, and, you know, he did some things, and I was like, well, wait a minute here, you know, I'm like, okay, well, maybe I could learn that too. So, if you, I went to Home Depot, I bought a book, okay, on electrical, home electrical wiring, okay, and plus I did research on the internet, watched some YouTube videos, and I have learned how to, I have since learned how to do it. And, you know, I, so in, in learning how to do it, I hooked up and I, you know, finished doing my system here. So it works fine. Is it safe? Yes, it is safe. Okay. It is safe. It's safe enough for me anyway, because, you know, um, looking at the system here um, and the elements of safety um, outside of the equipment with the overload protect with the protection in them. Um, I have two automatic circuit breakers here. I have a, a circuit breaker here. Um, you know, and that's just, you know, two of them. Okay. The, you know, the inverter itself has circuit breakers, uh, in there. Um, this is power coming in from the utility and this is a 30 amp circuit breaker. And this is power coming from the inverter going out to my home. And this is a, uh, a, a 30 amp, uh, breaker. Um, these grid tie inverters here, they plug into the, to a surge protector. And, you know, and also this here is a surge protector. Okay. So they're both in line with each other. So the thing is also the wiring here is the correct gauge. Okay. For the amount of amperage that is, you know, supposed to be going to each one of these units. Um, not only that. Not only that, okay, I have, <laughs> this is a manual transfer switch. And if you look here, these are all circuit breakers. These are all circuit breakers. Now, I also have this, I installed this. This is a sub panel. This is a sub panel. And it also has circuit breakers, obviously. <laughs> so, and it, and it was hooked up with the correct wiring. And so all of this in, in the main panel, I have, you know, this is for my back. This is the interlock kit for uh, back feed, uh, back feeding to my home. This is the only legal way, okay, to back feed your home. Uh, this is a back feed breaker that's turned off. It can, you know, it can only be turned off if the main, turned on if the main power is, is turned off. So again, um, you know, also, you know, for my own benefit, for anybody else, it's like I have a, I even had a sign made up before, you know, if I wanted to connect an inverter or a generator uh, to this particular 240 uh, volt outlet or in, uh, outlet here, so I can back feed uh, from a generator to, you know, from my hot water heater. I have a shut off here as well. So there is a lot of. Uh, yeah, there is a lot of safety uh, that was designed in the system, and as I was, as I said in my comments to one viewer, um, you know, you can't you can't plan for every eventuality, but with safety, with if your system is designed for safety and use a bit of common sense, you know, we can we can get it done. We can definitely get it done. So again, to to just reiterate, um, I mean, you can do this. All right, just do a little bit of reading. If you can hook up a battery, um, I mean, you can hook up a car battery, just like this, you know, that's, this is 12 batteries. These are 12 batteries uh, and, you know, no different than hooking up a car battery. No different at all. So again, just taking a look at it and, um, you know, the overall system and, you know, just, uh, you know, I do understand that there's some folks that say, hey, as far as these grid time, well, they're not UL certified and all this other stuff. 
Uh, yeah, I understand that. Well, you're in, it's not you're in, it's not gonna your insurance company isn't gonna pay for it. Well, that's that depends on what insurance company you with and where you live and so forth like that and, and the the rules that depends on the policy that you paid for okay that depends on the policy and the insurance company and not all of them are, are alike um and people say well these things are unsafe and they will burn up well this is a piece of electrical equipment electronic equipment and i have already burned out one of these okay i have burned it out i have i have had one and i burned it out and you know what happened was guess what when the little pieces of electrical you know component burn out the unit stops working okay yeah blue smoke comes out you know we smoke it and so forth but the unit generally stops working okay it just stops okay there was no big explosion and there was no you know no flames you know coming out of the back no it just blue smoke and it just stops working okay i had burned these out i had burned out inverters um, I mean, on purpose, okay? I have blown up inverters, okay? <laughs> Just to see, you know, not as well by accident, but still, I, I have blown them up, okay? And there was no big flames. You had a pop, okay? Blue smoke, and that's it, okay? Not saying that there, not saying that it could not be a fire risk, not saying that at all, but I'm saying that I think a lot of the, what the what some folks are saying uh, is they're overreacting and I think they're uh, you know either scaring themselves to death or they're trying to scare other people um, some of the negative comments you know, I mean really the negative comments that I've had are mainly from folks that either a have never done this or people that do it professionally uh, for instance solar installers some of them I won't say all of them you know, one comment was, you know, you DIYers or whatever, you're going to, all this stuff here, you know, you're going to get somebody killed. After four years, I have yet to hear of someone getting killed or having their house burned down because of one of these Chinese grid tie inverters. Not saying that it hasn't happened or it can't happen. I just haven't seen it. So anyway, um, you know, YouTube, thanks for your comments and your questions. I respect everyone's opinions. That's not a problem. Even even the bad comments, I, I still leave them up there. I mean, hey, uh, it's no big deal unless they're you know uh, just totally out there. I'll, you know, I, I delete that one because that's just disgraceful. But you know, everybody has an opinion. Everybody has a right to express their opinions tactfully, of course, civilly. Um, and you know, if you if you have your opinion, say, well, I, I believe this is unsafe and so forth, then state your reasons, and I, and I have the right to, you know, to agree or disagree with you. So, but it's no big deal. And hopefully this kind of answers uh, a lot of the questions. I, I like the setup here. And I mean, I was watching the setup, uh, I mean, in, in action today under, you know, uh, a nice full sun. And this setup here, I was pulling in, and, you know, with the, at that watt meter, I was pulling in uh, at peak 480 watts. And I looked at my meter and it, it was it was stopped. <laughs> OK, it, it wasn't spinning at all because I had, you know, the refrigerator going. Yeah, there was a the refrigerator, the freezer. I had my computer going, a big LED, <laughs> a big screen television. And so I was consuming my own power. So uh, and that's pretty cool. 480 watts um, yeah, at peak. Uh, that is pretty cool. So again, YouTube, thanks for watching, and I really do value your comments and your questions, and hopefully I was able to um, answer a few, okay? All right, if you have any questions or comments, you know, again, neg positive or negative, uh, feel free to leave them in the uh, comment section. All right, take care, YouTube.